Hello class, uh, this is Mark Lopez and today I'm going to talk about primate sexual behaviors and how they relate to us as humans. So I hope you enjoy my video. I hope it doesn't bore you. Uh, it's going to be a slideshow type presentation and hopefully you learn something new. It is an interesting topic. So enjoy. So the million dollar question is how do chimps, gorillas, and bonobos sexual behaviors relate and how on earth do they relate to humans? Well, the answer is quite simple, really. All of those species have recreational sex. Yes, they do. Humans certainly do. Chimps, bonobos, and gorillas also do. And this makes it very interesting. Um, they do have definite differences in their sexual activities. However, they all have that in common, which is very interesting. For example, the bonobos, the make love, not war apes. Yeah, I said that. Uh, bonobos use sexual behavior 75% of the time purely for pleasure. I mean, sex is very important to them as a species. Um, it's used for social bonding, conflict resolution, and post-conflict makeup sex. This leads to the big bad chimpanzees who, like bonobos, have the tendency to have sex for pleasure. In fact, female chimps will mate with multiple males unless stopped, so by the alpha. And alpha males may prevent other males from mating with females they're not even interested in. This is the show dominance. Obviously, chimpanzees are very social species, so they use that as a structure for their society. And this leads to gorillas. Yes, gorillas. Uh, this is a fascinating species for sure. Uh, especially talking about the alpha dominant male. I mean, this guy, he has access up to multiple females that he chooses to mate and reproduce with. And he runs the show. Um, he has mating rights to all of them. Uh, he lets other less dominant males know that he is running that group of females. Um, this shows status of his in the community. Um, so yeah, and it's crazy because the male usually doesn't even take care of his young at all, which is nuts. He usually goes off and leaves from time to time and then comes back to his group. So uh, very interesting there. And it shows with these past apes that we talked about, all of them are definitely not monogamous, uh, which is pretty crazy. And so the big question is, how do those past primates that I just discussed bonobos, chimps, and gorillas, how do their sexual behaviors relate to us? Yes, us humans. Um, it was pretty obvious to me. Um, the fact that those, a lot of those primates weren't monogamous, that they had multiple sexual partners. They used sex recreationally. They used it for pleasure. They used it to socialize and things like that. I saw that relate to us as humans. Um, now, keep in mind, not every human doesn't believe in monogamy. There are plenty of humans that believe in having one sexual partner and they get married and are with them the rest of their lives, you know? So that is one major difference. So not everybody is going out and trying to hook up with everybody. No, that's just not how it is. Um, but there are humans that are like that, that do use sex to socialize. Uh, they use sex for pleasure. 
Um, they use sex kind of as a social status uh, for the outside community. Um, so I saw those similarities, surprisingly, between those primates and us. And um, obviously there's some big differences, you know, usually you don't see a male with five females and uh, getting them pregnant and breeding, you know, you, I mean, that's not that common. I mean, it can happen, but you know, there, there are diff definitely differences between the apes and humans. However, that aspect of practicing sex for fun, for recreation, for pleasure, and to socialize, I definitely saw those similarities compared to humans. So it was definitely interesting uh, to, to, you know, look into that. Um, you know, it's just kind of fascinating how these primates really are, you know, related to us in many ways. So it was enjoying. I hope you all enjoyed my video. I hope I didn't bore you. And um, yeah, I will definitely hope to hear from you all. And I appreciate your time. Have a great rest of the year. Bye-bye.